Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. This is Teddy. For this video, we are going to make another account or I'm going to show you and how to make another account. It's either for your, as your secondary account or your farm account. For this one, this is my main account, my other account. So let's say the first step for you to do is go to your settings and their character management. And as you can see, I also already have a few accounts here, but I'm not using the others. It just, I only have like three active accounts here. So earlier today, like an hour ago, I started or I opened one account in state 235. That is this, the survivor, the late one. And under character management, the maximum uh, character that you can make in one account is 20 but it is only limited to two characters per state. So for example, I am in state 77, so I have two accounts. One, this one with a check is my main, and then the other one is my, the Tedes farm is my farm, and then I have another account in 182 that I've been playing for two weeks, I think, more or less two weeks. And then now I open a new account in state 235. But I'm going to make another one just to show you and how to make another account. So to make another account, all you got to do is click new character. So if you wanted to make a farm account for your main, let's say you already have a main account in 235 and you wanted another account for your farm. So all you got to do is click 235 and then when you see that 235 it already shows you that you already have one account so you only need one account and then it is blocked so let's go here so for example we make a new account in state 235 do you wish to create a new character in this state and yes and then it automatically directed you to a newly or a fresh account my internet is really bad for days, so I don't know what happened, but I can't even stay long using my emulator, so I switched back to using my phone. So here, as you can see, I've seen a lot of posts of Facebook complaining that their settlement is colored black, like this one, literally like this. It's the reason for that it's because you are a new account your account is new or your new character is new and you need to open these areas by doing this the prologue part but let's see again because it's giving me tutorial on what to do so let's collect then build we just follow what the game is telling us first and then i'm going to show you now to do things so here so let's say this is a farm account yeah so we just got killing it this is annoying the, the point with a new update is that it's like they are stamina hungry before when i was playing this when i started in state 35 there is no such thing as using stamina except for killing infected inside your base and this the even the explorer uses bread before and that's stamina now we change it everything is all about stamina the first uh seven levels of your or seven or eight levels is easy to get in under two hours three hours you will be able to get on or before 10 hq 10 it's just if you're just consistent um, this is one of the features of the game that I don't really like. It's when it comes to the Explorer Trail. It's because it takes a while. Not really a while, but one minute for me is too long already. And you're first, like, on a, when you're just starting, so it's just all manual. But as you progress, you will be able to click either to manually do it or to automatically do it. And then you can speed it up to three times so let's just keep doing this this is what you're gonna do one rule when you're playing a new account and you are not planning to spend any money on it first never 
spend your bike apps like save it save it until you need it and i'm going to tell you where are you going to need it the most don't use it to speed lower tiers like like this since you're just starting don't use them to level them up because bike apps will be useful for you later on in the game so let's just quit enough so there so just keep updating that so just do what is required we need to clear again keep clearing that and then i was able to clear all of this by doing as a prologue and then it will be chapter one chapter two chapter three until i've opened it into hq6 so we go back to that account and see because it's easier and i already started it so first tip never use your bike apps unless you needed it especially if you're below hq10 don't use it to speed your buildings or to speed your troops it's just a waste don't waste it second is get an alliance or join an alliance either it's in either it is active or you don't know what is the level of the alliance it's okay because it's just a new game it's just a new state if you're in this new state just join a random alliance so that it will be able to help you build faster and later on when you're like already stable with your game you can switch in any alliance that you want but for now which has joined the random one i'm now in building my hq7 and then second this one i don't build tier one to tier three troops unless i needed it but some of this chapter one chapter one part two i think it requires you to build a few level one level two troops and that's what i do or i build troops that are enough to kill one level one or level two infected and that's it and i just wait my hq to go to hq 10 and then i start building tier four no hurry just like this is not a matter of you know growing really really fast but takes a while and i always believe that battle power is not everything if you don't do research if your power is based on troops and then someone is going to attack you one time and you don't have a proper research then you'll be in trouble my friend so first save your bike apps even if it's waving at you never use it yet until you reach hq10 and then second one is don't train too much uh, uh, two uh, or two low troops unless you can start or okay you can start from tier three but don't build keep building level one and level two only train level one and level two if it is needed in your chapter like in your stories when it is required that's the only time that you are going to use it and then we go so it's telling us to events billboard so again we're going to clear all of this So it's barricade. Yeah, the spinal hole transmission. So third, this one, this entel post, drops post three times a day and it refreshes every eight hours. But two times of this usually drops the stamina pack. And those packs, you won't be needed them and don't open them until you need it. Don't stop them up, just keep it in your backpack. Start using this chief stamina there until they run out before you need to open the pack. And if you're just starting the game, it will give you as well state intel. State intel is like two months until capital clash. And every time your state is able to finish or complete this you will be getting corresponding rewards and of course there are a lot of buy cups seeds as well so every time you get a buy cups just keep it until later on when we open your research uh 
when you open your research lab, I'm going to show you where to invest some of your pie cups. So let's build. I want to build a precinct. Then we don't have resources, so we can open that. And your backpack, only open it when you need it. So you have 34 minutes to do it. Then let's try to open your barricade, your billboard. So we open that. And then we reach here. And then we explore it again so that we can open that billboard for us. And then in HQ, uh, headquarters one to four, you are only allowed to use two heroes, even if you already have three by then. But on, from HQ five, the third slot for the hero will be open, so you can use three heroes. So your first hero for this game will be Sarge, Maddie, and Frank, and then uh, Rusty. Well, actually, uh, Maddie for now is like an NPC for you, but later on you can actually get her. There is an event for her for you to get at her, but when you're just playing it, it's like you're borrowing her from someone. Something like that. So it's open now. Those are the buildings. And then we clear this. So we use. We don't have enough money to use it. So anyway, uh, that's how you make a new account. And if... You wanted to make an account your farm I'm going to show you and how you build that account by opening my other account which is actually my farm so here so let's say you already build your account you already moved to another state or you moved to your current state where your main is and your farm account is up and running So how to build in a farm account is if you're doing, if on your main, you're doing mainly development and battle. On your farm account, the one that you are going to do research is your, either your development here or your, this one because this falls so like that increases junkyard metal production and then increases farm production the one with the uh, lorries or when you collect outside your farm so this are the, what you need when you are building a farm account and at the same time your talent should be fixed in economy so if you have if you are building in a farm account one thing that you need to remember, fix your talent to economy. All of this, all about farming and farming and building. Second is your research. When you do research, only do development and economic. When you're building an offensive account or your main account that you use for killing, development and battle don't mind your economic if you have a farm account so you have enough so here if you can see that earlier when i was saying that save your bio cups in this farm account this is what i do i always deposit like i'm it's like a bank so i deposit that after three days i will have a 50 percent growth of what i deposited in here that's how I make my buy cups go up. Also, all the packages, all the resources, I keep it like this. And then I will just open it with my main account needs resources. Also, speed ups. Since this is a farm account and I don't really attack anyone 
or during kill event i'll just put a shield on this so where am i using all of this speed up i'm using these speed ups during a state of uh survival survival of the fittest event so that i mean if your account is an f2p or free to play and this is an an, an a farm account you want to rank up that big but you will be able to finish the required level for like for example this one is a new one yeah so there's like solo points target there so use the speed ups just to reach the end of that target you don't don't aim for a ladder board for your farm well if you want to drop money on your farm and be in the rank or in the leaderboard, that's okay. But what I mostly I used to do is I just use my speed ups here until the end or until the last level of the solo points target in every stay, uh, survival of the fittest. Also, this one. If I can buy, find a peace flare, what I do is just pop a recon jammer and then send my reinforcement to other HQs that are full and I just make sure that my warehouse is most of the resources in my warehouse are protected so even if someone attacks me there's nothing to steal there no troops it's either I hide my troops and blast shelter or I'll reinforce other players also this one I save them up like that to come in one wall and the others so i have this i just uh, this is my favorite one small chief stamina in my farm in my farm so why i made a farm account my farm account serves as the bank of resources for my main so for example if my main is out of resources i just open some of this boxes here and crates and attack my farm second is during travis event so this is the reason why i always hoard a lot of stamina supplies so this one since this is a farm account i, I don't really need to fulfill or do intel or whatever i can skip that thing just to save the stamina packs that the final hope is dropping every day so i save them and when Travis event comes, it's a time that I'm going to use it along with the intel. So that apart from doing the intel killing infected through intel, I will be able to get hunting backpacks. I have a video of that or how, was, how I was able to do or what trick I'm doing with the Travis event. But it is like, we can just scroll up on the videos that I made earlier to see that. So... I'm using this last time it was over a lot like a lot and then I used it for Travis and then I started collecting again waiting for the Travis event to, to happen again and then to use this the drop this elite and get the Travis fragments that I need so that's it and then oh one more thing I also keep this advanced here research map epic search map and i use them also in survival of the fittest so that's it i hope this video is able to help you and how to build your farm accounts and if you have any questions just post it in the comment section and i'll try my best to reply please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for all your support